Nikola Tesla believed that the numbers 3, 6 and 9 was the golden key of expressing the universal language. Tesla had a brain for physics. Understanding energy and vibration is vital for all that there is in the universe. The mind ponders over with such great wonder. I tend to ask how did a man like Nikola Tesla over 10 decades ago know so much? Using his inner intuition where he decoded ancient mathematics, he knew it was not humans who created mathematics, but it was given to us, almost as if it is a universal law. People believed that Nikola Tesla had an OCD, as he was obsessed with the number three. Staying at hotel rooms that was divisible by three, creating mathematic calculations which was divisible to the number three. Tesla even quoted, if you only knew the magnificence of the number 3, 6 and 9, then you would have the key to the universe. At the time, mainstream scientists and various people did not believe as they thought he was talking nonsense. Nikola Tesla made some remarkable interventions as all his success was based around the numbers 3, 6 and 9. The problem Tesla had was trying to sell his ideas. So I could imagine a lot of people copied his work and claimed it to be their very own. Just imagine if Tesla was born in today's age with the scientific advancements and his inner intuition, life today could be a lot different in many aspects. Number three is known for a number of completion. Looking at galaxies and earthly nature, there is similar patterns obeying a universal law. And that law is, no matter where in the universe, 1 plus 2 equals 3. A great example is the human body, as the mind, body and soul equals to 3. Just like a tripod of life, it consists of 3 circles. Throughout history, the number three is important to cultures, religions and within science today. It is no secret that if you start doubling numbers from one, it will create patterns, known as the power of two binary system. So one plus one equals two, two plus two equals four, four plus four equals eight and so on. This is called Vortex Maths, where you add up the final digits of the mathematic equation. So for example, 7 plus 7 equals 14, 1 plus 4 equals 5, which looks like this, 1, 2, 4, 8, 7, 5, 1, 2, 4, 8, 7, 5, 1, 2, 4, 8, 7, 5, and so on you will realize that three, six and nine isn't within this vortex, as these numbers are interdimensional factors, as energy from a high realm covers and makes a circuit of the other six numbers. Let's look a bit deeper into these numbers and discover an undeniable truth that three, six and nine governs the universe. 3 plus 3 equals 6, 6 plus 6 equals 12, 1 plus 2 equals 3, 12 plus 12 equals 24, 2 plus 4 equals 6, 24 plus 24 equals 48, 4 plus 8 equals 12, 1 plus 2 equals 3, 48 plus 48 equals 96, 9 plus 6 equals 15, 1 plus 5 equals 6, 96 plus 96 equals 192, 1 plus 9 plus 2 equals 12, 1 plus 2 equals 3, 192 plus 192 equals 384, 3 plus 8 plus 4 equals 15, 1 plus 5 equals 6, 
384 plus 384 equals 768. 7 plus 6 plus 8 equals 21. 2 plus 1 equals 3. As you can see, these mathematic equations always end in a 3 or 6. Even if we doubled 768, it would equal 1536, which then is 1 plus 5 plus 3 plus 6, which equals to 15. So 1 plus 5 equals 6. No matter what you do with these type of numbers and equations, it will become clear that it will always end in 3 or 6. The number 9 is believed to be the complete number, a very powerful mystical number. It's believed to be a number of mastery, as it is within all existence. 3 plus 6 equals 9 which gives us energy and frequency creating the vital building blocks for every object or living organic thing in this existence of the universe. When you start doubling nine again, you get undeniable results. 18 plus 18 equals 36. 3 plus 6 equals 9. 36 plus 36 equals 72. 7 plus 2 equals 9. 72 plus 72 equals 144. 1 plus 4 plus 4 equals 9. 144 plus 144 equals 288. 2 plus 8 plus 8 equals 18. 1 plus 8 equals 9. So again, no matter what you do with these mathematic equations, it will always end in the number 9. Some people come to believe that 3, 6 and 9 is the actual blueprint of God itself, as these numbers govern an infinity cosmic conscience which relates to the I am Alpha and Omega, basically meaning 3, 6 and 9 is the beginning and the all end. Looking at the circumference of a circle, it equals to 360. 3 plus 6 plus 0 equals 9. Looking at a square for every corner equals to 90 degrees. 90 plus 90 plus 90 plus 90 equals 360. 3 plus 6 plus 0 equals 9. Looking at a 3D square cube, in total, there are 8 angles, 90 degrees for each angle, which equals to 720. 7 plus 2 plus 0 equals 9. The pyramids of Gaza, you can visually see that there is 3 pyramids directly aligning up with the stars of the Orion's belt. Some come to believe that these structures, including the Nile River, is a mirroring reflection of the Milky Way itself. As great legends rule, the ancient Egyptians built heaven on earth. A pyramid has five angles. 90 times 5 equals 450. 4 plus 5 plus 0 equals 9. So again, here's another amazing fact. In total, there are six pyramids located at the Pyramid of Gaza. Three which is directly linked to the stars of the Orion's belt and three small pyramids beside them. So three pyramids plus three small pyramids equals six. Six plus three stars of Orion's belt equals to nine. Nikola Tesla invented mass destructive weapons such as the artificial tidal waves. Gathering several tons of high explosions, Tesla calculated at a distance of one mile, once detonated, the blast could rise to almost a hundred feet. Nikola Tesla spoke about his great design and stated that he wanted to make it as a defensive option. In case there was any outbreak of a war, he would use 30 tons of nitroglycerine. The speed was estimated at 3 miles per second. 
it is believed that this never came into full extent of being created, but considering how the world is run today, it wouldn't surprise me that this project is already in existence with it being a finished article. Also, in the 1930s, Tesla designed a weapon called the Death Ray, known as the Death Beam. It was an electrical magnetic weapon where it could destroy targets from a distance. He began working on the project since the 1900s. The main power source was absorbed from the unseen energy around the Earth, known as the ionosphere. With the help of his Tesla coil, he was successful in creating the Death Beam. His mindset was so advanced, but in all honesty, he was a very innocent man. He wanted to create such weapons that hoping in one day it would put a form to any acts of violence or if there was any type of war. It's also believed he actually made a car to run without batteries. A book called The Secrets of a Cold War Technology Project Heart and Beyond and many different internet sites goes into extraordinary detail such as switching from an engine to an AC motor. The measurement was just over 3 foot long and 2 feet in diameter. Tesla had worked on and built a receiver in his hotel room, so once the key of the ignition was turned, there was no noise of a motor and the car moved forward. The car was able to drive long distances without fuel. Within this day and age, information can be dangerous for every question and answer. It's almost like a paradox. As much truth there is, there are lies to be told, but there is no doubt in his methods and thoughts, he did advance technology in many ways which benefited humans then and even now. Wireless technology has come a long way and it has given us many benefits in our daily lives, such as satellites, phones, broadbands and the simplest of a remote control. It's also added economic growth and structure to how businesses operate. In general, we are very lucky to be living in this daily age with such technical advancements. So again, hats off to Nikola Tesla for such inventions what spark the minds of many upcoming inventors and scientists.